Hello all, my name is Krishna Ayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, uh, we will be continuing the Flask web series and please do let me know guys whether you are liking all the videos or not. So I have actually uploaded five tutorials. Now this will be the sixth tutorial. And again, today we are actually going to discuss about some amazing topics again. And uh, the specific topic that we are going to discuss about is Jinja to template. Okay, so we're going to understand about Jinja to template engine. And uh, before we go ahead, guys, uh, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. So let's go back to the code. In the previous video, we have discussed with integrating HTML with Flask. Then we have also dis uh, discussed about HTTP verb like get and post. And one of the example with respect to this Jinja to template engines, I have actually shown you in the result, we can, sorry, in this result.html, we can display this specific message called as the output is result, right? And again, guys, I'll be giving the entire playlist link of this uh, over here. So please make sure that you watch the videos if you have not seen. Now, today in this particular video, we are going to add some more techniques, some more techniques of Jinja 2. Okay, I told you, right? What is Jinja 2 template engine? Here, you are actually integrating HTML with some data source so that you'll be able to get these values from there itself. Right now, this model, when I'm actually sending this result, what is this result over here? We are sending pass or fail, right? We are sending something like this. So here, you will be able to get this particular result over here itself, right? And this is basically called as for expression. This is this is just an expression to print the template output, okay? So, so any any kind of output that is coming from this kind of route decorator we can actually use this okay so what we are actually going to discuss over here we are going to discuss four main things i'm just going to put a comment for this the first thing is uh, there is other techniques also so one technique is something like this which we actually use for for statements so we can also write for statements in my html by using this jinja to template engine technique okay which i'll show you I may also write in this particular way, which I have already shown to you. You know, this is how we can actually use expressions to print output. Okay. So in my previous example, I have shown this only. So here you can see that the output is getting printed like this. This result will be coming from uh, either one of this route decorator. Okay. And then the third step, I can also put something like this kind of comments. Okay. So this kind of comments also can be put up internal comments. So you will not be able to see this in the main HTML page, but this is for comments. Okay. I'm just going to write this. So quickly, we are going to see this three steps. Now here, let's go back. Let's go with the, I hope everybody has seen this expression to print the output here. I'm just giving this particular result. It may be either pass or fail. Okay. Once I give this result, uh, this particular variable is printed over here. This is fine. Now let me do one thing. Let me not write this particular condition over here at all. Okay. So here what I'm actually going to do is that I'm just saying return. Okay. Return this particular score. Let's, let's return this score and the condition that I had written, I will try to put over here like your if and else clause. So let's see how you can actually do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this clearly and I'm going to basically say, okay, uh, I'll just write this kind of conditions as I showed you. So this was for my normal expression here. You, I have given this particular comment. See for statements, some, any kind of statements, not for statements, but any kind of statements, it can be a if condition or here I will say for conditions. Okay. For, for loops, I can use this. Okay. So here I'm actually going to put this and how do we define it? Mm, if you really want to understand here, I will write my condition. Suppose if I say if result because this is the output variable that I'm actually getting. What is the output variable result, right? So if result is greater than or equal to 50, okay, I'm just going to put this like this and use this. I hope I'm writing it right. And please make sure that you uh, keep one space gap between this so that to work properly. Okay. If this is greater than 50, I'm going to display a HTML page. And I'm going to just going to say the person, your result, your result is passed, something like this. Okay. If it is greater than 50 else condition, I can also write it over here. And again, for writing the else condition, it will be pretty much simple. I'll just use this with a space and again, this and uh, oops, 
I'm going to write in the next line, which is my h1, which will actually say your result is failed, right? Pretty much simple. Uh, this is a kind of conditional statement. I'll also be showing you how we can write uh, for loop and all. But always remember, after we write like this, we really need to close it. Okay. Now for closing it, we will be again using this and I'll write end if. So there is something called as end if for this. This will basically say that I have to close my if condition or any kind of conditions like while anything that you want. Okay. So I'm going to save this. I'm going to save this and let me run it quickly. Uh, run Python terminal. I am going to follow the link. So here it is. Now let's try this. So I'll write 6, 56, 65, 40, 78. Now I'm going to submit it. Now it is saying your result is passed. Perfect, right? And now let's try this. And here you can see final result, right? And it is going to success 59. And remember success 59 goes to this same result.html page. Okay, result.html page, which we are actually seeing over here. Now, let me try some more things. Suppose I give this and let me change this value like 12, 12, right? And if I submit, you can see the result is failed. Your result is failed. So amazing way, you know, I'm actually making it much more lightweighted because I can actually write the condition over here. Okay, now what all else I can actually do? Let's see. Okay, I will go to this main.py, you know, and I'll make sure that I'll try to provide this more information from here. Probably I'll just create my expression, which will actually be a dictionary. I'll say that my score value will be over here. So I'll say score is equal to 50. And I can say score is equal to score. Okay. And I may use the other one, other statement also in this particular dictionary, uh, which I can basically say, okay, let's, let's give this uh, whether the person is pass or fail. So here I'll say if score is greater than or equal to 50 i'm just going to keep this particular statement as pass if i want okay so i'll create a variable called as result and here i'll define it as pass okay and let, let me define this particular variable result with a blank space and result will be pass else else the result will be fail okay pretty much simple so these two things are there, pass or fail. This is what I want to print. So let me make it as capital letter and let me make it as red letter. Okay, perfect. Uh, now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a dictionary which will have this key value pairs along with this. I'll also have one more key value pair which will have something like um, res status like kind of stuff where I'll be basically showing this variable as res. So this is my dictionary exp, which I'm actually going to pass. And in this particular dictionary, I'll be passing in this result. Okay. Now what will happen is that when I will be returning this particular value after calling this result.html here, you'll not be having the excess of this. Okay. You'll not be actually having the excess of it. So what we are going to do here, I'm going to put a comment. Okay, let me let me do one thing. Let me just remove this. Now what I am actually going to do after this is that I'm just going to write a condition over here. The condition will can be anything. But main thing over here is that I have to iterate through through this particular dictionary. So how to iterate it for those for those things also I can again use this expression. Okay, so it will be percentile and I'll say for for some some key underscore value value in the result dot items right i can actually use this items and for this again i'll be closing it so this is my condition which will actually help me iterate through this particular result variable which is a dictionary and i know i have two things one is score and res right so score and res what i will do is that first of all we'll try to uh, make a table over here so that uh, let's see uh, if table will work out so this is perfect I'm just going to copy this. Okay, I really want to see some values over here in the form of table. So here is my table. Okay, and then inside a table for this, we are going to create a table row. Okay, and inside table row for every values that I see, I'm going to basically create a th that is my table header. And first time I will basically be having the key this see i'm combining now the expression and the other things right so here i'm just going to say key right 
so this will basically be my key and the other one that i'm actually going to discuss over here is th and here also i'll try to use this expression and basically put up instead of writing keys now i'll put up value okay perfect i think everything good looks good please make sure that you have the proper space everything spacing should be absolutely fine then only things will work otherwise you'll get an error okay so what i have actually done over here i'm, I'm just taking this entire dictionary whatever score value i'm getting whatever item value i'm getting and whatever this result i'm actually getting i'm printing it in the form of any kind of things like table or anything that you want okay so let's uh, quickly now go and see this and over here i'll just reload it perfect 45 60 76 12. now i'll submit it so i'm getting an error saying that jinja was looking for the following tags end for right so this is not there so that is definitely a problem so i have to close this particular tag and this will get closed after the tr tag right so let me quickly use this tab over here and here i'm actually going to close it okay so let's close this uh, from here and here again i'll be using this and if and if uh, sorry and for if it was if condition i have to use and if if it was for condition i have to use and for if it is while condition i have to use and while okay so pretty much good now let's see this i'll execute it 56 45 i think we will be getting one more error let's see i don't know okay now the score is 36 and uh res is equal to fail the result is fail uh pretty much good enough uh, we are getting this value let me make one more change over here uh for this table i'll keep a border as one or border as two okay so i can also specify this which is my border okay now let me just do this 45 60 65 12 now here you can see that my score is 45 and result is fail right now i can also put some styling and basically put red color or green color whatever things i actually write um so that you can actually do with the help of css now here the main thing is that what we have learned we have learned two important expressions right using this particular condition and using this particular condition here you can also write some kind of comments right so if you want to specify some kind of comments that also you can actually specify so i'll write hashtag another hashtag i'll say this is the comment section let's see whether i should not be getting an error section okay perfect now let's see whether it will come as that specific error no nothing is coming so that is basically a comment section which will actually help you to understand what you are actually writing so i hope you like this particular video again this is the technique with respect to jinja 2 template engine guys amazing and uh, later on you also have some amazing architecture like mvcs and all which will be heavily used so i hope you like this particular video or uh, please do subscribe the channel if you are not already subscribed and many videos are yet to come and most probably as tomorrow is sunday i'm going to start django playlist also so please make sure guys you subscribe the channel see you in the next video have a great day thank you one doll bye bye